Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about Windows Hello for Business. We will see a small demo of it where we will set up Windows Hello for Business and enable two-factor authentication wherein a user can log in with his password as well as PIN. So Windows Hello for Business enables two-factor authentication wherein users set a PIN for their device and instead of password they use PIN to log in. Also if the device supports biometric uh, authentication then they can also set that up. In Windows Hello for Business there are two modes one is certificate based the other one is key based. As such one doesn't provide uh, more security over others the requirements are different in both of them. So in certificate based uh, mode at high level you need to assign users a certificate there is uh, no requirement of setting up 2016 domain controllers but in key based mode you don't need to assign certificates to users but every site where you have users authenticating you need windows 2016 dcs we can have three kind of environments cloud only environment where all the windows 10 machines join azure ad in that case we do not need any on-prem infra and uh, we just set up some policies in uh, cloud and windows hello starts working the other one is on-premise where you have all the machines on premises in that case you need to set up uh, servers and certificates on on-premise the third mode about which we will talk about in this video is and see a small demo is hybrid wherein your machines are on-premise ad join and their identities are synced to cloud using azure ad connect so for hybrid key based mode there are few prerequisites so we will talk about them here and one by one we will see whether our environment meets those prerequisites if not we will set them up so for the first one is forest domain functional level 2008 r2 here i am on my domain controller and in active directory domains and trust if i check the forest level and domain level it is 2012 r2 so this prerequisite is completed next one is windows 2016 domain controllers at each site so i only have one site in my lab and it has a 2016 domain controller so that is done i have the azure ad subscription so that is also done i have the latest azure ad connect installed on my domain controller syncing the identities to cloud so this is also done then we need the password sync or pta or adfs for authentication i have password sync enabled where my password hash is being synced to azure you could also have uh, pass through authentication or adfs as your authentication mechanism as well then we have multi-factor authentication so i will go to my azure portal and check that here i am on my azure portal i will go to active directory i will go to users i will go to multi-factor authentication this is the account for which I will do the testing. So multi-factor authentication is disabled. So I will enable that. So the multi-factor authentication is enabled for my account now. The last and the very important uh, prerequisite is to have certificates on domain controllers. So we need these certificates so that our clients uh, trust these domain controllers and we will have to assign Kerberos authentication certificate to all our domain controllers. In my domain, I have internal certification authority in which first of all, I will create a certificate template and I will issue certificates to my domain controller. I will right click certificate template, click on manage and look for Kerberos authentication. I will right click it and create a duplicate template. I will clear show resulting changes in certification authority i will select windows server 2008 r2 and here i will select windows 7 server 2008 r2 on the general tab i will rename it Then we will go to the subject name tab and build from AD information is selected, none is selected and DNS name is already selected. Rest all should be unchecked. Then we will go to the cryptography tab. In the provider category, we will select key storage provider. We will select RSA in algorithm name. 2048 minimum key size is fine. 
and the request hash should be SHA256. Now we will click OK. Now the template has been created here and we will close the console now. If I check in my certificate authority under issued certificates, I can see that my domain controllers have domain controller authentication, Kerberos authentication certificates uh, already assigned. So these are my two domain controllers. The one which we have created for domain controller authentication Kerberos, we want this to supersede all of those certificates. So I will go to supersede templates, click on add and add my domain controller, domain controller authentication and Kerberos authentication here. So our new certificates will supersede all of these. I will click on apply, click on OK. Close the console. Our certificate will not supersede earlier certificates uh, until we publish it. So we will right click on certificate template. domain controller authentication curve so this is the one which we created we'll select it click on ok so now the certificate has been published so let me check on my domain controller whether it's there or not so this is my domain controller and i will check the local certificate store on it So here is the template which we created and I could see that this certificate is present here. So now our certificate requirement has also been met. So now let's see what all needs to be done. So all the requirements have been met. Now we will take one Windows 10 machine. We will enable TPM on it and apply the Windows Hello policies. This is my Windows 10 machine which is uh, on-prem domain join and its identity has been synced to cloud using Azure AD Connect. Also this is co-managed using SCCM and Intune where all the workloads have been transferred to Intune. So device configuration workload has been transferred so I would be able to apply the device configuration settings for Windows Hello on it. I'll go to file settings and I have enabled the TPM on it and if I go under Intune devices all devices so this is my win 10 domain 2 machine where all the workloads are managed by intune now in intune i will go to device enrollment windows enrollment windows hello for business here is the setting for windows hello for business which applies to all the users so I could enable it here and select the settings. But if I do that, that would apply to all the machines, all the users. I don't want to do that. I want to apply it to only single device. In that case, I will have to create a custom device configuration. I have already created a device configuration profile for Windows Hello. And there are the settings under it I will paste these settings in the description of this video and I will apply this to a group which this machine is part of this is uh, this is an Azure AD group hello testing so only this machine is part of it and I will save the settings now let us sync the policy for this machine so we'll go to devices all devices select the machine and sync the policy so we'll wait for a few minutes for the policy to complete and I'm going to pause the video and come back once it's done. The policy has been synced so let me reboot the computer and see whether it prompts me for a pin or not. One important thing to note here is that you need to disable enhanced session mode for it to work because with enhanced session mode it works as a RDP connection and in RDP it doesn't ask you to set up the pin. It is now asking me to set up the pin. So let me do that.
as you know that I enabled the MFA earlier, but my phone number details were already there. So it did not ask me for phone number and straight away send me the SMS. I'm going to verify that. And I will set up a pin. So it is saying that this is not complex enough. So if we look in the device configuration, profiles, Windows Hello, properties, under settings. So we have minimum pin length of eight, maximum of 16, then we need a special character. So I need to specify minimum eight character with a special character. And So now it meets the complexity requirements and I have set up the pin. So now my Windows Hello is ready. Had it been a device with the hardware, fingerprint or face recognition, I could have set that up by going into accounts, sign in options, Windows Hello face or Windows Hello fingerprint, but that's not an option for me now. Now let us reboot this machine and see if we are able to log in with the pin or not. Machine has been rebooted so let me try log in with my pin. So I am able to log on to the desktop now. Now if a user wants they can also change the pin by going under accounts, sign in options. Windows Hello for PIN. So they can click on I forgot my PIN and they can reset their PIN or they can also change their PIN by clicking here. It will give them the option to put in old PIN and new PIN. But if they forgot their old PIN, then this is the option. Now let me log off and show you another option by which a user can reset the PIN. So at the logon screen also they can click on I forgot my pin and reset it. So I will click on I forgot my pin. It will ask me to put in the password. Now I will click on reset pin and I will type in a new pin here. So now I have reset the pin and set in my new pin here and I could log into the machine now. So this was a demo on how to set up a Windows Hello in hybrid scenario where you have on-premise machines uh, which are synced to Azure AD using Azure AD Connect. They are managed through SCCM and Intune and the device configuration workload has been transferred to Intune so that we are able to apply a device configuration profile a custom profile to that machine. I hope you liked this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.